provocative. To some people, what I do is magical, and to others, what I do is criminal. I was trying to look at a dual identity of being South African citizen resident in France for a long time. And so I made a work using French national symbols, the cock, the Eiffel Tower, um, Folie Berger, Lido, Glamour, as well as a very South African approach to using public space with a political consciousness. I used my penis because it's me. Everything about me is inscribed in my penis. White, Jewish, male, gay. It's about identity. It's not about fucking. charge of the state is completely inappropriate because it's sexual exhibitionism. That puts it on a par with someone flashing their dick from a raincoat outside a school. For me it had nothing to do with sexuality. It had to do with gender identity and the politics of the body. But the genitals are not only about sex. And it's really backward of France to insist on this charge. Often in explaining to the police what I'm doing, they begin to understand that it's not terrorism or perversion, that it's actually art. And it was like that in Vienna, where I was reenacting the humiliation of the Jews who were forced to clean the streets with toothbrushes. And I was cleaning the streets with a giant toothbrush and a huge dildo diamond at my ass. Because, you know, I've done more difficult work in more conservative countries, which is why I might seem angry. I hope I don't come across as angry as much as betrayed and upset and determined to not let the shame of a country that can't deal with itself be put onto me. I find France racist and anti-Semitic and xenophobic and I don't think it has to be like that. I had lots of things up my anus in the name of art. We make work because we want to be seen. We say things because we want them to be heard. It's not a dictatorship, it's an offering to try and change consciousness of people. I made a work in South Africa called Chandelier where I go to a squatter camp wearing a chandelier tutu that lights up. And people said to me, why didn't you take bread? That would have helped more than going in drag naked in a chandelier. But I'm not a social worker, I'm an artist. And my job is to change consciousness and through that maybe hopefully social circumstances change. I'm not pleading guilty to anything because I'm not guilty and I'm not pleading. But they can't stop me being an artist or making work I believe in. You know, I only ever had one sibling, a brother, and he committed suicide. And I say that art is my alternative to suicide. So that's what drives me, the need to be alive and to do what makes me feel alive. Vocative.